Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about a new announcement from Crunchyroll. It's it's actually got quite a lot of stuff in it and throws a lot of the predictions. Uh, it pretty much like throws it in the trash can. Now this is for better and worse, I guess. It depends on how you interpret it. A lot of people will be happy, a lot of people will be unhappy. I personally am still on the fence and still not 100% sure what to think, but let's just talk about them and see how they affect us. So first up, we've got the Ayana banner. Ayana is a two star. She's coming up very, very soon. I think in like two days, two or three days-ish. For you guys who don't know, the Surrendia gang will be up on rate up for that banner. So that includes Saren. So I guess you could look at it as a Saren banner, but for those guys who already have an easy skip, for those guys who don't, probably still an easy skip. What has changed, however, is the duration. So the duration is actually from the 4th till the 20th. So if I switch over to this, we're going from the 4th till the 15th. We've actually gained five days, right? So to the 20th here. So that's a little bit weird. It's a bit weird that they actually extended the duration of banners, but this, that's not all that's changed here and and like i said it's for better or worse i i still don't know next we've got the thank you login bonus which is really good so this is from the fourth till the 14th so this again this is from the last video 800k mana 300 stamina 10 gacha tickets over 10 days get 10 times all of that that's awesome this one actually is really important because it lines up with this event down here which is the main quest normal quest drop so these are a couple of more things that threw the schedule into the trash can so we've got normal quest double drops from the 7th till the 15th so that's from here to here here ish as you can see there's actually no normal drops up until like the third clan battle and we <laughs> well we lose the hard mode drops over here it actually gets pushed back till after after the 15th what this means though is that this normal quest double drop it actually coincides with the thank you bonus so you actually have a lot more stamina to work with for you guys who are more casual and can afford to like be the most efficient in the game especially for free to play players i would definitely recommend farming all of your equips during this normal quest double drop this is for you guys who don't really care about like optimizing your clan battle uh DPS because you're going to be missing out like on quite a fair bit of DPS if you don't farm for those drops now. But if I was playing a little bit more casually, that's 100% what I would be doing. Like maybe like a top 50, top 100 and below. Like that's just such a good opportunity to farm up those like 8-3 gears. It's just, it's just so good. What that means is that I'd probably be doing like hard mode farming from now so that you can save that normal quest drop and fill out your 8-3 here. So like I mentioned before, after the normal quest drop, we've got the hard quest drop. No brainer. It's just for four to five days. Like you get double drops from hard quest. I definitely would recommend refilling stamina if you aren't already for this one. And with that being said, let's hop back over to the clan battle beta 2. So this is going to occur from the 7th till the 12th. And that's pretty much spot on. So clan battle hasn't really changed. For you guys who are hardcore about clan battle, we don't get any more time. It's it's all a go. It does mean that we can't take advantage of the two times normal drops or the two times hard mode drops. But like, you know, uh, for the more competitive guys, like this is a, this is a non-issue. Got a whole bunch of new furniture. It's pretty cute. I think it's themed to the little lyrical adventure group guys like with Kyoka and them it's it's pretty nice I'll probably pick some up and then last of all we've got the expansion update so on the 15th of the March we have here we're going to be getting an expansion so I think that's rank 88 rank 8 equipment slot 5 and quest area 10 now this is kind of interesting because previously we thought that rank 88 would be like in the middle of clan battle and so I think this just makes it a lot better because like who would want to be like upgrading during clan battle it kind of doesn't make sense right I think it's a good change that all of this is released after clan battle and not during clan battle like that's it's just not really competitive at that point i feel like it loses a lot of competitiveness if you just introduce a whole bunch of changes it's kind of why like other games for esports they kind of lock down their maps or patches and then that patch is used throughout the entire tournament and stuff like that right what is interesting is that the main quest area 10 release is actually brought forward from here through to about here-ish i don't think this one's necessarily a bad change either i think this one's good it gives us a little bit more content and as you know if we get more areas it means that we get more gem income all right now for the weird one which is going to get a bit controversial so we've got the INF focus gacha we're shifting the pace and extending the duration of each banner so as you saw before the INF banner that was originally supposed to last like 10 days is now going to last about 15 days instead they think that it will provide a better experience for the global player base and blah blah blah, blah and it gives the players ample time for their favorite heroines which look like in theory it actually makes a lot of sense if this was a completely new game we would be like we'll be shouting in joy to be honest this is such a great change However, the problem is that we have clairvoyance, especially from JP and CN and stuff. So a lot of people are very, very focused on like holding and not spending the currency. It is for that reason and almost that reason alone that this is not really a good change because everyone's trying to huddle and you can't hold for like another six or eight months or whatever, right? Like we were expecting Summer Kiaru in like three or four months. But now we'd expect her in like five or six, right? For the less casual players, especially you guys who 
are coming out of your way to like come find content, to come find information to help you guys. This is not that great of a change because it means that you guys will have to hold longer and there is a way more likelihood that you guys will get bored. With that being said though, it means that we could have like, you know, a little bit more opportunity to throw in, you know, throw a tenor or two into the INN banner or the Ilya banner or the Kyoka banner or whoever you like that's actually coming up. I personally think from a casual point of view, this is probably one of the best changes that they could do. I'm unfortunately not a casual player, but I do believe in like the overall health of the game. So it's for that reason that I think it's good because like, you know, if we can spread out these like focus banners more and more, it means that there's a bit more time for the casual players to catch up. But personally, I really think that the optimal way to do this was to rush at 1.33 times accelerated rate and not decelerate it like this. And then to compensate through some of these like if thank you login bonuses, like that's pretty lit to be honest. What it does is that it actually gives us a lot more content in a shorter amount of time, but also compensates us. So we actually get more play time. But coming back to this one, the biggest thing that really annoys me, I guess, is that there is going to be a small gap of a couple of days between banners. Not even Japan has that. And I feel like this is going to actually make us move slower than Japan or any other version for that matter. So does that mean that our three year course is going to turn into like a four year course, for example? This small gap, I probably don't agree with at all. Like, I really don't think you need a gap between each banner. I really, really hope that they reconsidered the small gap. I think the way that they've been going up until this announcement was really good. And to be honest, like everything in this announcement up until like this part was actually really good. You know, we're getting the normal quest double drops. We're getting the hard quest drops. Sure, I still don't see the 1.5 times EXP, which would help the official launch players a bit. But all in all, it's a pretty good patch, like except for the fact that we're going to be getting this little gap and the fact that they're going to stretch out those banners a bit. One positive thing that I can take out of this is I think I really do think that they are watching us. I know when I released the accelerated schedule video, you guys like a lot of you weren't very happy to be honest. Therefore, by extension, if someone at Crunchyroll actually saw that video and then they introduced something like this, you know, they would think that this may alleviate that issue. From a business point of view, it's hard to justify giving stuff like this out like very frequently. Doing this gives us the players all of the benefit, but it means that Crunchyroll probably is not going to get that much like profit or like benefits out of it. From a casual standpoint if you're playing very casually and then suddenly you have a lot of like these things drop on you I, th I think it's okay but perhaps Crunchyroll was like mm, we don't think it's gonna work from my perspective I think if we maintain like every month we get a level cap increase rank slots increase and the new areas I think this is a good cadence however and I can't stop whining about it this why do we need a small gap like come on bro come on all in all I don't think Crunchyroll is doing like a bad job I just think that they could be doing better I, I do think they're listening but but I think there might be like, uh, this might be the compromise. This might be the compromise that they came to when they were like, okay, I think our players are getting burnt out a little bit because of the acceleration. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure what to think here. If this is really gonna help like, you know, bring in the casual players and retain them, then, then I welcome these changes. Like that's just how it's gotta be. And I, I, can, I can take it down a notch. Like I can definitely take the hit if it's gonna help like promote the health of the server long-term. Otherwise guys, I think that's pretty much it. There's not much else to talk about except for the fact that, you know, all of this is pretty much like, you can't trust this anymore guys. So don't, don't trust any of this yet. I don't even know if we're gonna be getting this daily free temple anymore. They've actually just deviated from like a whole bunch of these. We can still kind of expect a little lyrical adventures up here here because it should coincide with the INA banner. But as for these two like drop event rows, I'm not sure you can know or you can't. You can't actually rely on that anymore. The clan battles are still going as predicted, but it looks like they're releasing their content a little bit differently to how they did it on the Thai server. It's a very, very interesting times and I'm not sure how everyone's going to receive it. I'm going to try go into this like very positively. This is largely positive news except for this little bit down here. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's call it there and wrap things up. Again, before I go, I'm going to make a new tab to reflect like what's actually going to happen rather than all of this speculation or alleged data mines. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with secret message, uh, Serendia gang. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really, really appreciate it. it. tells me that you've made it to this part of the video, which is the end, and I will be forever grateful. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, come join the Discord. It is what it is, but I will catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.